Hello, and welcome to the CCNP Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. In the previous lesson, we focused on EIGRP. In this lesson, we will look into Open Shortest Path First, OSPF. Let us begin with the objectives of the lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the concept of OSPF and configure OSPF, describe OSPF router types and area types, explain how OSPF determines best path, explain various link states, describe authentication and configure OSPF network types, describe the process of BR and BDR election. Let us start our discussion of OSPF version 2 for IPv4. OSPF was designed by the Internet Engineering Task Force, IETF, and John Moy. It is a link state routing protocol. It has more information about the network than EIGRP. OSPF builds a topological map of the network. For OSPF, a hierarchical addressing scheme is required. It uses IP protocol 8.9. OSPF uses 224.0.0.5, all SPF routers, and 224.0.0.6, all designated routers for routing updates. Manual summarization can be configured on an area boundary router, ABR, or an autonomous system boundary router, ASBR, only. This compares to EIGRP, where manual summarization can be configured on any router interface. Let us configure OSPF in the next slide. An OSPF routing domain can use multiple areas, which are groups of routers. The internal routing of each area can be isolated from the rest of the routing domain. This makes the routing table smaller and reduces routing protocol overhead. All OSPF routing domains require an area 0. All areas must be connected to area 0 physically or through a virtual link. Best practice dictates that an area should have more than 50 routers. A router should not have interfaces in more than three areas. The next slide focuses on how to configure router ID.